General rule, you can always count on your daughter for some hashtag <laughs> real talk. Uh, that's one of our favorite Real Housewives, Vicki Gumbelson, and she's back for season 12 of The Real Housewives of Orange County. The show airing Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Bravo, and it's our Toyota People Pick of the Day. Yes, and we are joined this morning by Vicki Gumbelson. Welcome, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having it's me. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for being here. We'll get into all your wedding festivities and things that went <laughs> oh, on in just a bit. But first, let's talk about Not this. my wedding. Not, no, I know. Not the wedding that you participated in. Hang on a second. No, just a, a wedding Slow weekend. Down, for a <laughs> Uh, but we saw in that clip that your daughter is putting the pressure on about you getting married to your boyfriend, Steve. What's the verdict for you, though? Speaking well, of, uh, of what? Yeah, you know, he's a great guy. Um, he keeps asking me, what does actually whoop it up mean? And I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, we still have some some ironing of things out. But you know what? He's a great guy, and, I, and I'm and i happy, and I'm in love, and I'm not in a rush to get married right now. Okay, taking it slow yeah. and enjoying the I love. I just don't want to ever get divorced again. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want any red flags. I'm just, and I don't have any, but I don't want any anymore. I'm, sure. I'm, I just want to. Make yeah, sure. speaking of that, you're in the public eye. You've yeah. had some very public breakups over the years. I have. Do you still keep in touch with your exes, Don and Brooks? No, Brooks, no. Um, who? <laughs> 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 no, that was uh, completely gone. That was that broke me. That that breakup was the hardest out of all my relationships. It really broke mm -hmm. me because it was so public and it was so hard, um, really, to go through what I did. Um, but Don, actually, we just talked a couple days ago. He's good. He's happy. He lives out in the desert, and you know, Don's happy. He's a happy guy. I mean, he, he's, his glass is always half full. Yeah. So. Why, do you, why do you guys reconnect? That was just just the insurance. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I run his retirement plan, so he asked me for some advice. Oh, so it was wow. good. Okay. Yeah. It's good that you're friendly. Um, what have you learned going through such public breakups that now you can apply to life now? Well, I go all in, you know, and I trust and I go all in. And I think some of the things I've got to pull back a little bit of not sharing everything with everybody, you know. Um, but I don't know, you know, when you're in love and you want to expose it and you share it and you get hurt and life goes on. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's kind of the nature of being on the show and being mm -hmm. a, the, the type of person that you are. You know, you're yeah. living in the public eye, right. so it's all you out there. You have to basically share everything because mm -hmm. if you don't, they find out you're anyway. Find out. Yeah. You know? Well, that's something that you and all the other housewives from other franchises deal with as well. There are actually news stories that Real Housewives of New York City star Luann De, De La Sepp's marriage may be in trouble, things around that. What advice would you give her for dealing with breakup rumors in the public eye? Well, I'm probably not the right person to ask for advice on that because Lord knows I've had two breakups in 12 years being on the show um, with Don and then Brooks. But, you know, I think that you just really have to not give the viewers everything and not, you know, try to have some 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 privacy in your relationship. It's hard. Yeah, what hard. was the hardest lesson learned going through those those sort of public, public breakups? Um, if you had to... The lesson learned is just not sharing everything yeah, with it. everybody yeah. and right. the cameras and all your cast members because at the end of the day you don't know if you can really trust them with the information so I don't know I I, I don't I'm not the proper person to probably sure. get all the advice from but I just know for me if Steve and I have an argument or if we have a disagreement I'm not telling anybody I'm not telling anybody yeah. I'm not gonna put it on camera and I'm not telling anybody because it, it just doesn't make sense work that way. Yeah. Well, speaking of relationships, we saw the clip of your daughter. Mm -hmm. How is her marriage going? Good. Mm -hmm. She's so happily married, and we have great news today. Ryan came home for good. Oh, wow. So the moving truck is on its way from Oklahoma to California, and they're all reunited, and they're just so happy. And they're, they, she's got an amazing marriage. I mean, you know, for being together five years and two kids and having that long distance, they've been able to really make it work. So, so now her husband her. will be living with her. Mm -hmm. Yes, finally. So nice. they've been going back and forth between the two states. Got to throw a party. I know. I'm going to. Are you? Yes, it's, it's a surprise. <laughs> Is it a surprise? I'm doing a retirement party for him. And oh, very all, cool. all his marine friends are coming from Camp Pendleton. Wow. That's yeah, really that'll nice. be great. At her house, at your house? I'm having it at my house. Yeah, really? I'm not surprised. Okay, it's a surprise, guys. Uh, but it's happening. Yeah, I mean, it's still a surprise if they find parties. out this way. You know I love parties. Yeah, I've of course. i got a great backyard, so I'm going to throw a big party. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Well, that's going to be really great. Yeah. What, a, what an honor to be able to yes. throw that kind of a party. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. you and your daughter have been very open about her battle with lupus. How is she mm -hmm. doing now? Well, she's she's doing good. She's handling it well. Um, she's she's struggled, you know, and yeah. she's still struggling. Finding the right care and the right treatment and the right doctors has been our biggest battle because she'll start with a doctor and then something else will happen. They're saying you're too advanced and I don't really know what to do. So then she goes to another doctor and it's it's constantly um, switching and getting the right medication. That's tough. Yeah. 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 Well, so. switching gears here a little bit. Um, you made waves when you revealed you almost died in an accident in Iceland this season. Well, you so didn't almost die in an accident in Iceland. It was actually. Um, in Glamis, oh, with, in Glamis. The, with the 
rollover last year, but right. this year I didn't almost die. I just had a little situation. Okay. Mm. Yeah, just so what, had, what that, actually, that's me. What actually um, happened? Any details about that? I, you know what, I can't tease it out. All I know is that I really wanted the girls to go whoop it up, and I just said, I'm good, don't take me to the hospital, and they're like, you're not good. So, oh wow! Yeah. So you needed to go to the hospital mm -hmm. as a result. Mm -hmm. And were you, you were hospitalized for a while? And, no, no, I was only there about six hours. Okay, but still yeah. enough to. And I came back, and the girls made me a casserole. <laughs> you know, is that what you do? When you get a casserole <laughs> out yeah. of it. I wanted a casserole. I said, when okay. you're sick, you offer a casserole.